Karibu to Pussy Power episode 3 ya yeah, festival. Niko na amazing fabulous women leaders. Jenna conforming people kwa set kutoka ghetto mbalimbali mbali. na hii session tunaenda kuongelea kuhusu mambo ya sexual reproductive health and rights. Uh, GBV prevention, hiyo ni prevention ya gender based violence ama uh, response ya gender based violence kwa community na around peer protection ya LGBTQ kwa community. So niko na on my side uh, Snyder araji introduce vizuri niko na Milka makala sasa mashiko eh juma mashiko si jina yako jina yako ni Milka niko na MJ pia nasema jina yake vizuri ningependa zile title zenu zote mko nazo na mbwembwe JKN niandanzie hapa we ni nani unafanyanga nini na unatoka wapi <laughs> Sasa ni naitwa Morin Juma venye amenita mara kwanza MJ uh, najulikana MJ Malipote ghetto zote mukuru kwa njenga ikue madhare uh, mimi na champion ya Safe Abortion mukuru kwa njenga under pussy power mukuru kwa njenga ama pia educator a mentor and a facilitator Sante we nakwambia title <laughs> sicheze na sisi <laughs> next Ya yeah, kwa majina yangu ni Milka Wamboi Gakuru kuzaliwa na kulelewa madhare. Uh, mimi ni mwana biashara but biashara ndogo. And also I'm a professional researcher. I do research and also I volunteer with different organizations na zengine pia ninafanya kazi nao sio kujitolea. Na katika ule mtamba nimetoka wa madhare mabatini mimi ni mzee wa kijiji mahali pale. Nikiwa mzee wa kijiji ni mwito nilisikia ndani yangu ni vema nijitokeze mimi kama mwanamke kama mjuavyo ya kwamba wanaume ndio walikuwa katika hivyo viti na nikaonelea ni vizuri nisimame nikiwa mwanamke at least naweza nikaeleza mashida ambayo wanawake na ikapata kutoka vizuri kwa sababu mimi ni mwanamke ningeweza kueleza and that is how i managed na nikapenya kule na niko pale and also i'm a mother and in a confused uh marriage ama relationship that is na na pia huwa ninafanya kazi za kuongelesha wanawake kwa sababu nilipata ku notice ya kwamba wanawake wanapitia changamoto mingi lakini wangali pale tu wananyamaza and so so huwa ninatembelea vyama chama women na ninapata kuongelesha na ku tunaendelea vizuri. Yes. Asante. Asante. Mm-hmm. Na Frepio ni mzee wa ambapo inamaanisha ni village elder. Mm-hmm. Uh, na represent office of the president kwa community yeah. level. Yeah. Juna reporti kwa chief, si ndio? Chief mm-hmm. na reporti huko juu, si ndio? So na Frepio tuko na one of the of, of the leaders wa community pia who is also a woman. Yeah. Aha, uh-huh. next. Yo yo yo. Yo yo yo, na bana yo yo. Atasana na ndo uoga. Ni ndo sna ida katete toka mini feminist na mini activist pussy power na pia napenda ku ku kwa na pia influence kwa kwa my youth wenzangu na pia I'm a member of the queer family so we are here to talk about vitu that to affect na pia tujue vile tunaweza zi tunaweza zi prevent pia manze ni tujue vile tunaweza come out tunajua kuna wasi wengine wengi huko kwa community wameshindwa ku come out tujue hii pressure inaendelea kwa kwa society especially Kenya kuna kuna bias mingi sana na wasee wapendi wanatuita mashoga eh wanatuita mashoga so watu wana fear ku come out so mimi nataka tu kama naweza touch mse mwingine mahali ya come out kama mimi manze usiogope mhm mm-hmm. sasa na asante kwa courage yako kwa si watu wengi na coming out na courage na mashoga atakwambia hata wakati kuna pata attack um this year kwa community tulikuwa very keen position yetu around LGBTQ but like we stand for LGBTQ right for abortion for everybody right because to understand kuishi kwa low income area inequality na maanisha nini kukosa na wakati tunachukua bila dignity na maanisha nini kudhulumiwa na maanisha nini so tulisema sisi wenyewe tunasema tunadhulumiwa huko na tunadhulumu wengine si ndio yeah. so na appreciate na hii panel na katuni moto mkuru <laughs> uh, abortion kuna leader hapo uh, village of the village <laughs> elders <laughs> na sorry za jibi bila kuna for, representing queer community so naangalia tunaangazia pia tumekuwa from 16 days of activism ama period ya 16 days of activism 
tumefanya a lot of activities pamoja si ndio yeah. na reason pia nilikuwa nasema kwa the other podcast will choose to ifanye after um ni pia kuko na reflections festival ilikuwa aje ilikuwa aje for life festival ilibamba mwenye akukua mbona za mambe ilikuwa aje tuli invite kila mtu akikama ulikosa sijui mbona ulikosa by the festival ili nice it was the best among us the two nisha attend si kwa the third festival ili iliweza kwanza ile ile place yenye sasa wanaumwa na vaha hii zetu but it was the most yani hiyo ndio nilifurahisha nilipiga nduru mpaka nikakosa sauti for nilipiga nduru nilifurahi if a man can try what i normally use that that that's me na umwa na umwa ni support if tunaweza convince vizuri eh hey, kama tu muda kidogo tu hii akakubali kuvaa high heel mimi nikikaa na yeye mwezi mzima ni mconvince afanye kazi yetu ya feminist ya wanawake na afanye vizuri unaona venye ikitilingiana wewe wengine je wanaanguka anguka wengine ah wako anguka sawa ni sawa eh paka wana dance eh okay nilikuwa lit lakini mwezi mimi sije ipo ta place na zaji express kulikuwa na all kinds of people wenye nilikuwa na socialize nao na sijai like manze ilikuwa amazing eh pas gani ilikubamba Similiona. <laughs> Sasa tulipata chenza kushirikiana na kuengage na set tofauti tofauti. Nilikuwa na sijuni mimi sijui kwa nini nanitanga kila msee family but hiyo family yangu yote nilikuwa najua ya LGBTQ wote walikuwa. Na tulishirikiana we fine. Na tulikuwa na insecurities za zote. So mimi nilijibamba. Na vinaweza nilijibamba. <laughs> na wengine walikuwa na chunga watu usiku. Haya, <laughs> tuambie milka yako how was your experience na festival? Okay, nini my... na topic gani pia ilikubamba nini? Azi nini unasema ii vitu zote zimbao lakini ile nibamba pia kama kiongozi kwa hiyo festival mm. nili nice sana kwanza kupokelea invite invitation ili nice because most of the time kupata space kama hiyo kuweza kukutana na wengine sisi wazee wa vijiji huwa tunasahaulika despite on kuwa tunafanya kazi ambayo ni ngumu sana na ni ya kujitolea huwa tupate hizo nafasi na nilikuwa wakati nikiwa kwa jukua hapo ndo nilipata kujua manzi mimi huwa na impact ile kushangiliwa nikapata moral saini na nguvu naweza endelea na nauliza for more and more ndio at least kwa sababu hii kazi haiwangi rahisi si kazi bali ni kujitolea haiwangi rahisi so ukipata haupati ile nafasi ya kushikiliwa sana kuonyeshwa that upendo inakuwa sometimes ngumu na unajiuliza maswali am i doing really the right thing So hapo mimi nilinai sana. Ile ili ni bamba sana ni kujua kwamba pia wanawake wapata ngizi nafasi na kamunyweso. Kalili fayari juu ya kwamba wanawake wana, wana believe in me ya kwamba ni sauti yangu nikiitoa nasikika. So nilipo order na nikaomba wapewe kamunyweso walipewa wali nice walibambika sana and also tulipata time nzuri sana ya kuweza kushare experiences na zile mashida ambazo tunapitia sisi kama wanawake so na pia wengine nilikuwa najua wako sawa nikapata kujua kweli hawako sawa so in case ni zapata mahali niitishwa wanawake wale ambao wanapitia GBV ni ninajua ni akina nani so sitaweza sita kustruggle sana and also nikipata kuna training ambayo wanawake wanafaa kutrainiwa na yani sina ile kazi ngumu so mi kwangu nilijibamba sana nilifurahia sana hata kama si kuweza kukunywa lakini mziki niliuchukua sawa sawa mm, na ukaambia okay. wengine mnyeso katembe katambe eh wacha wacha no mimi sinywi <laughs> lakini wale wengine ambao wanakunywa mbona sasa tusiwaachilie tu wakunywa kwa sababu wana feel hapo ndo labda they cope that way uh, to their stresses yeah by the way ah hapo kwa festival unaona ile wakati sasa panelist kaanza yeah, 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 ya mado ya mm. wacha resource mobilization kwanza wewe ndio uli nini uli uli moderator kitu ile ni nice ni unajua tumezoea tunaenda kwa hoteli wanakaa huko mbele 
hawa kobos basi sasa hiyo siku walisimama kwa stage and they were talking like hadi sisi sasa tumekuwa boss unaona walikuja mtaa sisi tukakuwa boss tukakaa nika feel like eh wamekuja levo yetu si leo tujaenda penye wako so it, it was fun alafu after that mnatupea pia sisi ruhusa at least tunauliza maswali tunaambiwa venye kuko hapo moderation eh nilikuwa juu nilikuwa juu sana yeah also that part ya kuwa ya kwamba kulikuwa na those panelists walikuwa kulikuwa na maswali tuulize kulikuwa na maswali waulizwe wajibu ilikuwa inatupatia sisi nafasi mzuri ya kuweza kujua sasa ni, na, ni swali gani huwa inanisumbua sana is it the right time now kuuliza so wakati wakati mi, ni, mi ufikiria ukiwa na organization ama coalition pesa uflow tu as long as umepiga picha umeweka facebook <laughs> au pandas wako tu mahali wamewekwa wana kumbe ni a struggle lazima kuna zile vitu ambavyo vinaitishwa kuanzia la, la, lazima kuna kitu ta, you, you shall write something for you to get something pia ni kazi ngumu sana pia E, kulingana na environment that we are kwanza madhare 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 sometimes watu chukuliwa vibaya it's like si kama estate like others not knowing ya kwamba hatuwezi tukatoshea katika hizo estates zingine that's why tukapewa na pia kama tunaweza tukatoshea katika hizo estates kubwa kubwa mapato yetu ni ya chini sana so hatuwezi weza kujilipia yale manyumba makubwa makubwa yale ambao huwa tunatarajia na yale ambao huwa tunaombea sana so nilipata time yenyewe hata hapo nje nilikuwa nauliza maswali kule ndani kulikuwa kuzuri hata kama sikupata nafasi ya kuuliza swali liliulizwa na mtu na nikapata kujua ya kwamba kuna ile mikakata ambayo unafaa kufuatilia ndo ido pia itoke na si kazi rahisi ni kama vile ambavyo mwanamke huingia katika leba na unaingia katika leba ward na kusukuma mtoto haiwangi kazi rahisi lakini hizo so, maswali hazifai kukua si ndio eh hazifai kuwa kwa sababu ya, sasa ina, 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 ina ita baria to me labda mimi sijazoea kuongea sana sasa nitaweza kujieleza nitajeleza as in lazima tunisukumwe nisukumwe ndio yu fedha itoke iweze kusaidia watu wa mtana ili hali wakiwa huko nje wanasema ya kwamba wanawake ama jamii ya madhara huwa inateseka sana hawana maji hawana vyo ma, milipuko ya magonjwa inapatikana pale but whenever unaenda kuomba usaidizi inakuwa tena ni kazi ngumu sana so to many people huwa wanatupa mkono na na lazima pale ina kugarimu manze ukuwa tuna hekima na ile patience okay, na ni ile ambayo watu wengi hawana anapenda meleta hii hii discussion but ingefaa kwa mwisho imekuja juu but msema <laughs> discussion za mtazi hizi zina flow ndio better si ndio mm. najua kama mj na no, kwa access to safe abortion na pussy power mbona why are you working on access to safe abortion eh una, unajua natoka ghetto na ile mtaa yetu by then emotional mbona niliamua kufanya hivyo uh, for someone to champion for something uh, first of all maybe ni survivor ama ako tuna interest sasa for me waking up every day upate mtoto ametupwa hapo um, na tujui mama ni nani na ukita polisi polisi anasema leteni mama ndio mtoto atoke hapo ilikuwa inani pain sana Uh, then uh, there is a certain man huko kwetu uh, jina si mjuu wangu jua anaitwa majina mingi za kijaluo za lugha gani za lugha tu mingi zile za, za ushago that man ufanya anasefa abortion to the girls na wasichana wanaumia wana overbleed <sighs> ndo nikakuwa na interest ya kuamua ku champion so, unajua ukipea mse knowledge sika so, kwa na naita na, na group tukimeet wawili watatu nikiambia nikiambia mtu unapata ni information inasamba so for mukuru mukuru is the best place you can circulate information in one day so if i talk to two people about safe abortion uh, then nimetongea nao sana wakimeet after two hours and meet watatu ataambia meet wengine waambie so information huko uh, uh, circulate sana so uh, ndo nifike sasa ni champion there's a certain time um, I'm, i'm a survivor by the yeah Um, I had an safe abortion back in Kakamega County not here in Nairobi. So the the difficult hiyo uh, tumbo kunyuma for over one one month over bleeding for over one month um made me decide to champion for it in ghetto cause nilikuwa naona mili wala ile cho mili 
daily. Na mili ziko paka karibu na police station. Yenye hata unasema eh nasi hata wangebeba tu hata waitupe basi baadaye. So that thing really pained me alafu na story na jua I'm from a, a community CBO. Pia kuna wengine walipitia hivyo na ile kushare na ile pia machungu anapitia nikaamua eh let me give these people a, a relevant information at least wapate place poa waneza waneza toa waneza have your safe abortion cause mtu ndio afike mahali aende kwa huyo kwak anakuanga na ile m, nyeleza je anakuanga na an, amangalia future amesema mtoto nikimbeba hata nikikuja kumza hata pata ile 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 ulezi mpoa ama atanizuia kufanya vitu fulani fulani ama alipata hata hiyo hiyo ujauzito kama hataki sasa tunelewa family planning zina backfire maybe uh, amelaki ile knowledge uh, uh, nasikia uki, uki pata family planning at least okay six hours ndo we have six maybe alikuwa anaenda kukutana na msee uh, saa 12 and kwa ke have six maybe sana na nadunga hiyo saa 12 si unaona atapata mimba na yeye akuwa ametegemea atapata hiyo mimba hiyo wakati so niko na wase wanapata mimba maybe due to lack of information Ame, ameenda na hiyo family planning ama contraceptive yenye alikuwa anataka kukua nayo lakini the right hours zijafika though ina style ukai 24 hours but at least it work with 6 hours so nikaona wase wa one information a one information pia but akipata hiyo 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 ujauzito anaenda kutoka kwa huyo kwa kambaya anaingiza waya huko chini na inamuumiza ikimuumiza hivyo hata reflect venye ikikuja afike mahali amua anataka mtoto atatoa wapi so that's why nilikaa chini tu nikafiga out nikaamua eh this is this is what i need i need to change so that's why i started championing for safe abortion in mkuru kwa njenga having groups talking to them so wasichana msichana kiona tu haezi na with a reason na like, less than three months she will, ju- she will just call me na niambie mama we need to meet to talk then nitamwambia nita, nita kasi hiyo time nitamwambia siwezi lakini nakutafuta before siku ishe juu hiyo pia ni emergency siwezi mkalisha sana nitamtafuta nikishamtafuta tutakaa in a safe space between me and her tuonge tuonge tu agree but sasa mimi sitamsukuma unajua ni mimba ni yake mimba si yangu yeye mwenyewe ndo agree then i do the referral if it's an email to write to uh, the right person uh, wa wana sponsor jumps kana mwenyewe ha, halipi hizo pesa but and have your safe abortion na hiyo time anaoshwa mnarudi nyumbani akiwa sawa then she start hawa kesho yake akiwa sawa yeah mm. just just to add on that mm. unajua uko mtaani mm. uko madhari please natoka mimi wasi wengi wenye na have safe abortion sio wale wenye obviously wenye ameshindwa maybe maybe yeye ni victim of rape na ali ali repewa and then i ang report because na joke kwetu story na gvv sana sana zinachukuliwa very wana joke tu nazo lakini nafaa chukulia serious because msexa repewa and they report ama mkoro wake atambia mkoro wake alifanywa hivi because hiyo jamaa mwenye membership ni ni msi mwenye anajudekana kama ni bani hivi right na mabani recho mm bani na wajua so i i is in the far mm you mse you mse ataki ukimpeleka wapi hakuna place ataenda so itabaki ni mtu mtu hivi la merepiwa hivyo na hiyo bodi yake na yeye na mzazi wake washughuli washughulike so it's up to mzazi ana ana decide mzazi ana mwana mwakumwambia kama unaweza kama mtu yeye ama tufanyaje tuende tutoe ball because mimi siwezani wewe una venye maisha tuna struggle huko ghetto tuna struggle sisi wote hakuna msimu yako fine so ina, ina, inabidi tu ana toe ball lakini wewe sasa hii mtu yake toe ball inabaki na mejajiwa na society unaona hizo ni challenges tena watu wewe wasiana na watu wanafanya safe abortion wanapitia so ni sisi tu ku create awareness na kuambia wase imaanishe mimi niki, nikifanya safe abortion ama nikifanya abortion atina nafanya nikitaka maybe something ndio nani push nifanye hivyo mm. na mj maybe yes. nikuja kwako uh, mm. asante sana ila ndio nikuja kwa mashko ama nikuja kwa melka <laughs> wapo sipa imekusaidiaje in terms of your work around access to safe abortion <laughs> ndashukuru kwanza baadu hiyo eh, ndo referral yetu sasa acha nisemu kweli pusipa is the referral 
kusipawa ndo hiyo knowledge niko nane za pia mtu jusinge amka leo ni kuwa na knowledge so unajua paka mtu akupitishe bila pusipawa singepata hiyo knowledge na pia wasichana wenzangu then pusipawa is the referral msichana anataka kutoa mimba i will email recho i will, I will email pusipawa ama sije chardi then watarifa watalipa bill watafanya everything they will cater for transport hadi msichana tu anatembea tu kama bibi harusi nika pusipawa is everything yenye nafanya nifanye sifa abortion yeah pusipawa everything from from sana ndio kwa mashiko naida unajuta kwa ngumu kidogo but si ngumu na ni rahisi um kuna hii narrative watu husema na si narrative yoku ile kuna msana wenda kulala na mtu ndio ashike mimba ende atoe for example um ni bahati mbaya na at the same time uh then to identify pia tuseme ni kwa bibi ya wenyewe ama mpango ama LGBTQ person kuna reality yangu mbona watu wako very judgmental hata kwa ofisi za gavana ofisi za community mbona watu wanajudge watu na kukemea watu na ku victimize watu mwanzo naweza sema ya kwamba ni lack of information and you know uh, uh, ukiwa na ukiwa na ka information ama ukiwa empowered kuna vitu ambavyo huwezi ukafanya uh, sioni vile unaweza ukakaa tu hivi umeende umejibamba umefurahia umefanya ngono mimba imepatikana alafu kwa umefurahia hivyo uamue sasa ni kuitoa lazima kuna zile vitu ambavyo huwa zinasukuma mtu sana sana kwenda kuitoa yaweza kuwa labda ulilala na mtu hukupenda aidha kwa kwa hali tunajua vizuri sana kuna kazi na tunaiheshimu kuna wale ambao huuza mili yao na ili wapate kusaidia watoto wake ama watoto wao ama wapate kujisaidia wenyewe uh, so those people wakienda kule alafu wapate, wapate mimba ambao wakuipangia na wakuitarajia because pia kuna ile mikakata ambao kuna zile kuna ile njia ama mbinu ambao huona tumia aidha labda umekutana na jamaa naye pia amesema hata tumia ile mpira ama kondom na akatai na akatai na mko kwa room kiwa wawili na kuweze na nguvu na pale mimba ipate kupatikana so why do we judge them why do those people who judge judge them it is because hawajielewi kabisa it is because hawajui kuna wale watu ambao ni kazi hiyo wamejekelea manani hiyo ndio inaweza kuwasaidia na pia eh, mimi nikianzia kwa sababu pia mimi ni mzazi nimesema mimi ni mzazi hatusikizi watoto wetu tunataka tu kuambia watoto lakini hatuwasikizi ameenda amepata shida na huko nje lakini kwa sababu wewe ndio kusema na anajua kabisa utampiga na na ule uoga juu sasa wewe umekuwa tu ni ule mzazi hupendi kusikiza hata sema amepitia shida anakutana na kuna wale kuna pia walimu wako huku chini wenye pia wajahitimu E, wakusomea hawajui ni wapi watawaelekeza wanawaingiza katika shimo ambazo uh, wangetarajia kuingia kwa sababu uh, mimba nimeipata nimeambia mwenzangu na pia yeye aliwahi pitia kwa hiyo akakutana na those quacks na wakamsaidilia so pia naye atawapeleka mahali ambako labda alisaidika ama mahali e, rafiki alienda akasaidika kule ya so unapata mtoto atakufa mtoto atapata shida mtoto atatoroka nyumbani kwa sababu pia naogopa juu hata yule mwenye amempeleka huenda ikawa atakuwa ame share na mtu mwingine na yule mtu mwingine labda si mtu wa kuweza ku keep secret so yule mtoto atakuwa ana kuwa finger pointed and also ina, inaenda to an extent whereby ile familia inajulikana wale ni wale eh, hutoa mimba wazazi wale kiales hadi watoto wao natoa mimba like i give i give an example of me niko na daughter aging 25 years there was a time alifukuzwa shuleni alikuwa amefanya makosa so mimi kama mama nikamsikiza mtoto mtoto aliogopa kuambia baba but community walimjudge vibaya sana mmoja alitoka tu na story from nowhere unaona huu mtoto amefukuzwa shuleni amekuja ametoa mimba and i was like sitaweza kuteta lakini mimi ndio najua ukweli wa mtoto so sisi hatukuwa na amani na tunaishi karibu na relative relatives mahali ambako nimeoleka so wako pale so kila mtu nilikuwa nikitoka hivi naonyeshwa vidole community pia inanijudge vibaya so those things lack of information em, 
women empowerment mimi kwanza imenisaidia sana there are those things i used to do saa hii sisi nikafanya because nilikuwa ninazifanya juu sikuwa ninajua but now kwa sababu ninajua those things sisi nikafanya so ni vizuri hata wakati una, unataka kuuliza unataka kusema something fuatilia ndo uweze kutoa maneno ambaye haitakuhaibisha kesho because i believe kuna wale watu wanahaibikanga ile mtaa ya kwangu wanashindwa sasa ta wale relatives eh, wao shemeji wanashindwa sasa huyu tutamwambia nini haikuwa ni venye tulikuwa tumeambua hivi na hivi because sisi tuko we are very strong me and my family nimewasimamia vizuri ule msichana hako na ni mzima na hana ubaya anafanya kazi zake so those things mimi nitasema ku judge watu huwa wana judge kwa sababu wengine wanajua wengine wameyeka tu sasa mshene lazima isonge isonge ndo si kuishe wengine tu ni kutojielewa mm, yeah. asante mama shifo ndio nikija kwa snaida maybe ningependa kuuliza kwa sababu tunajua unapata cases mingi za uh, gender based violence mm-hmm. na tunajua kisheria um that is what we stand for as activists na pussy power ni violence si kesi kama um sivyo wrong yeah. sivyo wrong ni ile maybe tumetukana na MJ tumebishana maybe juu ya makamba tunaongea ndio maana unaenda kwa mzee kijema kwa chief kwa nini kesi mingi mtaani na ni za violence na za fakule kwa police station zinakufulia kwa kijiji azifiki police station maybe in one minute ah. na watu wapati jasi kuzi kama jana najua ulikuwa na kesi mm. tunaweza fanya nini ku prevent hizo GPV ama hizi kesi kufika police station at least watu wapate justice ndio wale wanapapetrate wasio kupapetrate na pia protect watoto wetu wasichana mwanzo ningesema pia kusema ya kwamba ningependa kusema ya kwamba pussy power pia mmetusaidia sana na mimi imenisaidia sana kwa sababu kazi yangu imekuwa rahisi most of the time huwa nina rifa those cases ndio at least mtu apate justice because mimi personally nikienda kule inakuwa sometimes kuna hata uki, ukishaenda like huruma police station uende uandikishe statement kazi yako inakanganika mimi imemaliziwa hapo na ukijaribu kufuatilia inakuwa sasa unaona ni kama hatufanyi kazi yetu so ile kusukumwa sana inakufanya pia we unafanya nini unarudi nyuma but to you pussy power at least mesaidia because most of the time huwa nina make sure nimeita mmoja wenu na mwambia kuko hivi e, sasa tufanye aje ndo so mimi napata ku handle hapo ku handle over and also naweza nikafuatilia through you people hamu hamu nizuili mimi kuweza kufuatilia na tu, at least yule yule mtu ambaye amedhulumiwa apate justice so alafu pia nitasema ya kwamba sisi wazee wa vijiji apart from him asomo ambaye si tunaipata katika hizi organizations serikali yetu hakuna mali imetutengea sisi hakuna fedha ambazo zimewekwa kando za kuweza kuelimisha wazee wa vijiji wengine ni seme like leo mimi am over excited kuwa mahali kama hapa because kama ni makaratasi yalikuwa kiangaliwa ama education level mimi singezafika mahali hapa and in hali nina information nina kitu ambaye inaweza nika nika erase kuna jambo ambalo huwa nilanisumbua sana nipewe tu nafasi niweze kuiongelelea like now ningeuliza tu serikali ingepata tu ipeane fedha kama hizo wazee wa vijiji wanaelimishwa unafaa kufanya hivi ni nini haufai kufanya kwa sababu hata kama tutatumiwa akina chief wetu na tunawaheshimu sana kuna kitu ambao hataguzia enosi wengine pia hawaogopi Mungu wakati wanafanya hizi eh, cases kuna wale ambao wanasema tuketi chini tuziongelele like jana nilisikia uchungu sana kupata mwanamke mwenzangu amelala pale chini amedungwa Yaani anavunja tu damu kila mtu anaogopa haezi akafika pale kitu ya kwanza wengi huwa hatuna gloves unless sasa we mwenyewe ndio ujitete ukienda kungangana sana kama kwa zile facilities eh, clinics zenye ambazo ziko surrounding zile hauzipati mimi nina struggle kuweza kulea watoto wangu ninangangana na pale mimi najitolea si hizi kuweza ku afford hizo gloves so unapata pia mtu kama huyo anapata atakufia tu pale jo hata utaweza kumhandle namna gani na pia unaangalia your safety comes first lazima ujia ujiangalie sana and also nikaangalia pia community juu ya kutojielewa na kutojua 
wanajaji wanasema yule jamaa hangeweza ha, si vizuri angewekwa ndani ha, ilikuwa ni revenge kwa sababu pia naye alikuwa ameumiza yule jamaa wako wake so kwa nini ya wanaume inaonekana si kitu mwanaume akiumizwa lakini ya mwanamke inakimbizanwa na unaona ni wanawake wamejaa pale mimi nikiwa village elder nikiwa mwanamke iliniumiza na nikanyamaza kwa sababu singependa kujibizana na nikijibizana pale tena ni vita ingine tu tungekuwa sasa ni tunapigana na kwa sababu si ndio tunasema hatutaki hivyo vita tuketi chini tuongee kama ni kesi ambayo ni ya kusukuma tunaisukuma iende huko ndo watu wapate hiyo justice so sometimes kazi inakuwa ngumu and also you pussy power pia ni ya kwamba na nirudie mara mingi sana ya kwamba mnatusaidia kwa sababu you have no any fear hamuogopi yoyote ule mteza kushout na tukiwa wengi sauti zetu zinapata kusikika pamoja hmm. thank you asante na nashukuru zinafanya asante si rahisi ni ukweli kazi ya sarechar gbv LGBT. ni ngumu alafu is the least funded wafadhili ama watu wanapatiana fedha ama government zime to disappoint mpaka sasa tuna public safe house ya ya government tunangana kama sasa mbona nimekuwa hapa na kesi na, na kwa referred ya kutafutia safe house so nipenda kuja kwako Snyder uh, like someone who identify within the queer community How has it been for you this year na jo vitu zimekuwa tough attack from all sides gava uh, religious leaders on both sides muslim fundamentalists uh, christian fundamentalists our community our loved one has it been for you and other people from queer community sio rais especially you unatoka pia ghetto sio rais kwa nini tukienda tu mtaani sio rais wana jua tu vizuri mimi najua mimi najua najua wanasema mimi nikitembea demle la kitembea na akitembea na msana msana mwingine obviously wakini na snai wana nijua mimi obviously najua mimi ni rainbow kwa, kwa kijiji najua mimi ni rainbow so the moment mimi na demu mwingine obviously wanasema tu mimi nenda kumchange nenda kumchange kwa rainbow alafu pia zile vitisho vitisho vizi kwa barabara manzi mimi napita na sasa hivi bishana huyu mse akintusi na stay to come because mimi sina power sina power ana ni kuna deni shaishi kwa ni shaishi kwa na makarao na pele kwa sel na ulizwa wewe ni karao na yeye ni yeye ndo gavana kuliza hivyo na kulizaje kwa ni wewe ni dema wewe ni mwanaume sincere leo alikuwa anataka kunusha kwa sel ya wanaume sasa hizo ni gani manzi nilikuwa na feel vibaya but since ni mimi ni mimi nilizaliwa hivi na sisi kuchoose na jini listen mama body is my choice na tumia vile nataka mbona au kila mtu asifocus na vile anadai kuishi mbona mimi nitusi na, na, na sexuality yangu unacheki Dis- discrimination kila mahali hadi nikitafuta hela vile tu na dress unajua vile na dress na vile na dress na ni express tu na ji express so mimi nimeenda kutafuta hela nimeenda interview niko na papers niko na kila kitu lakini kitu naambiwa inanifanya na kuwa disqualified ni kitu tu moja atujui mimi ni rainbow unaona na lazima ni survive na survivaje kama sina kama sina kitu inanipatia inanipatia vitu zangu basic needs za daily sasa nakuwa na inaweza nifanya ni kuwa na ni kuwa ningi kwa depression ama ni kuwa na mental depression kiasi juu hakuna hakuna msimu anakudai ukienda kwa kijiji tu bado ni discrimination watu wanakutusi abuse nini nini gava ina platform yenye mtupatie safe space because hadi unasikia kama unacheki hizi mama mada zinatendeka kama demali uliwa shile kwa mboka aliuliwa ikakuwa tu ikakuwa tu makelele kwa social media kwa social media hivyo silisha hivyo hakuna msimu yameshafuatilia hiyo story ganila shila yeah shila shila lumumba uh, yeah, shila i think lumumba. ruling ni next week yeah so sure, but i think next week mse wa mse mse somebody in the queer family akiwa 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 attacked aibungi wangi sana lakini once tu mse mwenye amekuwa tuseme tu for example dema ameuliwa na chali yake ameuliona chali yake itaikuwa kwa social media watu watafuatilia nini nini lakini juu mimi ni rainbow mimi ni mama kupenda the same gender as me mimi kwanza mimi ni mbaya sana mimi kwanza nafaa kutolewa kwa, kwa society hivyo ndio wana believe so kama kama gavana inaweza tupatia tu inaweza tupatia platform ya kuna safe space na tunajibonga tuna engage manze kuna insecurities huko nje mingi sana na mimi na feel pressure kama mimi niko pressure hivi na ni come out D- despite hizo zote mimi ni come out na sija siezi change jumbe sana dai ni change Santi Snyder na na John ni hard au uh, kiangalia venye unasema hizo levels 
za intersectionality za oppression the fact pia unamejitokeza wewe unatafau survive kama mkenya wa kawaida lakini unanyimwa job at the same time unakuwa victimized na nagri na hiyo point yako when a heterosexual woman is killed at least there's noise at least when a lesbian woman is killed people wengi wako quiet na ifai kukuwa hivyo but at least saita ile conversation tulikuwa now the first before you can around femicide tunasema ni conversation zinafaa tunasukuma tunaangalia kwa zote ni gender based violence na, na pia ningependa kuuliza have you kama nyinyi wenyewe kama viongozi have you experienced that violence pia online Hey. Uh, recently yata ya uh, aje like in one minute aje cuz that, that's the thing even i'm like pia viongozi sisi tunafight ya watu wengine na tunafight you because we see tunapata violence online unakuwa bullied <laughs> unatukanwa una mtu anakwenda kuua anda ku rape have experienced that i don't know if you people have experienced uh, yeah. that cyber so so bullying iko all over mimi mostly mimi post zangu na kwanga kwa kwa post ya kwa kama tuseme fb na kwanga ni meta kwa comment section yangu na kwanga ni meta off some people because most of the people wana kuja kwa kwa comment section yangu ni wasi wanataka tu kunibuli kwenda huko una dai ku una dai ku dunyo mkundu una dai ku jema nyese wana wenzako mkundu nini una dai kutumaliza madai malafu si tuende yapi is like sasa mimi sasa ndo nimekuwa nimekuwa insecurity kwao kushinda vitu zingine to that affect kwa society na that affect kwa community ibe the empowerment part ya platform ya kuj express na ji express si ile freedom of expression si kwa nayo sasa hii nikaza pita kwa kwa wasi wa boda au wasi wa boda sasa wanajua ni kupusipa hawezi nifanya anything because wanajua kama niko na nipusipa anything ni za ni za happen so na appreciating sana maana so you know some sort of protection yeah na ndo kitu mwambia mtu ah na nakungata mje nikwambia na Melka the fact uko affiliated na movement ina pata some sort of protection ana mimi niko na protection juu niko na nyinyi the fact ni kwa sisi na nyinyi na pusipa niko na protection and ifai kukuwa ti lazima kila mtu kwa movement niko na protection but how do you use our protection to support watu wengine pia sidhulumiwe na wasipate hiyo oppression so ina maana lazima tuwe pamoja yeah. si ndio msukuma hiyo at least level ya support so ni kusikia mashoshe pata threats wewe eh kwa kesi ambayo nilikuwa nafuatilia sana mm. kuna kadem kalikuwa ka kamebakwa na babake. Na alipobakwa na babake akapata ujauzito. Na kulingana na na culture ya Luya Nation is that ukibakwa huyo mtoto hata akizaliwa hafai kulelewa, hafaa uawe. Yeye ni kiserani, yeye ni pepo, si si, si binadam, mm-hmm. si binadam kabisa. So nilipoendelea kufuatilia sana na uh, yule mama wa Kasjana kale ambako kalibakwa mamake hayuko pale katika ile ndoa aliondoka wali separate so uh, wakati mtoto alifika lazima sasa ajifungue aliambiwa akualetwe hapa Nairobi mama yake atresiwe akuje Nairobi aza, azalie pale na ye mama yake ni jukumu lake kungangana sana aweze ule mtoto asije akanyonyeshwa na yule mtoto asije akaona yule msichana sasa asije akaona mtoto wake akizaliwa ndio waweze sasa either ni kuua ama ni kumpeana na huko nje kwa sababu sasa hapa Nairobi walikuwa wanashindwa wafanye aje mama yake alitia bidi sana na akapata kusaidika kwa one of our CHP na akaambiwa mtoto ni kiumbe kama ni binadamu kama wale wengine asiuawe but tutakuonyesha ni wapi utakanyanga miguu na utaweza kusaidika. So na akaingia katika ofisi mingi na akapata kusaidika mtoto akafungu, akajifungulia pomwani. But alipofanywa upasuaji yule ambaye alikuwa anamwangalia hakuweza hakuweza kumsaidia sana ili aonyeshwe ni aje basi wanaweza acha mtoto pale. So akaambiwa asubuhi moja akaambiwa lazima aende anyonyeshe mtoto and the moment yule dada alinyonyesha katoto e, alikuja akaambia mama yake ile uchungu yote yenye nimepitia nimepasuliwa nimeshanyonyesha mtoto wangu itakuwa ngumu sana wacha niondoke kwetu nyumbani kabisa hata kwako niondoke lakini mtoto wangu nitakufa tu na yeye e, mtoto walipokuletwa sasa mtaani e, kisi kakuwa tena imekuwa kali sana na Nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu wengi 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 wanajua ninaweza. So waliweza kunifikia na nikapatana na kesi na nikaichukulia from there. 
na tukaanza kufu, kufuatilia but simu ambayo ilitoka nyumbani ilikuwa ya kutaka huyu mzee wa kijiji apewe simu mimi nilitukanwa hakuna kitu sikuitwa na ikaniumiza sana so ni, ni shida ni shida na ni shida ni kali sana kukua in that leadership sometimes una feeling ni kama utainua mikono juu lakini unarudi unaangalia if nao sitakuwa pale nani ataongelelea wengi and i thank god because ni a successful a story i'm talking about kwa sababu mtoto sasa ameruhusiwa na kona mtoto wake na kona hali safe mm, awesome. <laughs> yeah, <something laughs> <that's not funny. laughs> napoleni um extra goletu ya kwa sisi ndo tutateteana na sisi ndo tunadhulumiwa lakini tuko pamoja uh, mg in short um, your experience ya online violence eh, online plus um, mkwa mta uh, online it was reason that uh, your siku ya world safe abortion day uh, i had a quote nilisoma constitution nzuri nika had a good quote nika post eh. <laughs> nili delete um, that post huh? uh, not post comment some comment na nikasema sieki off nili turn kwanza off comment but then kaachilia comment cuz i'm ready to face them now mtu paka kan inbox a non person to me akaniambia ndakushika na nitalala na wewe na nitakupea mimba na ukitoa nitakuwa nikamwambia kuja but then nilimwambia kuja nilimwambia tukuja uh, I feel like social media niki express ni any quote of safe abortion ama niki express anything ha? kwa wanaona ni kama mimi ni muaji back to the community sasa huko ndo kuna shida sasa zingine wanafanya ngana switch off najiambia but niki switch off najiambia this is what i want i need to change so uh, ni naitwa ngwa muaji by the way mimi ni muaji mkore kwa njenga mimi ni mimi ndo na recruit mademu atoe mimba Eh, mimi ndo na support madem uh, mimi na pia madem paka kiburi tu next nauliza kiburi aje juu uh, nikiuliza kiburi mimi ni nakaanga chini na, na, napenda ku research za tukaa chini leo nituliza akili nijiambie nilisikia kitu fulani mali fulani so nisiende iko na cha niende iko na nijue ilikuja je ndikafika hapa so i had to talk to one to three nikaambiwa unajua dema have you safe abortion vizuri ana kusifu anasema bila wewe angepata hiyo information angekuwa sawa sahii anapiga shughuli zake kama kawaida dan kama angeenda kwa msewa kama angeenda kwa kwak ingemwest two months three months kama bado anajiuguza anangangana hizi tembea vizuri ameinama one two three so if uh, the girl says good thing about uh, the information she got from safe abortion and uh, if alienda your process wananitanga muaji wananitanga mimi na recruit madem waende wapate mimba tu watoe hiyo ndo kazi yangu we nafanya nani kumbisha mbali mpaka nafanya hivi nasema wa but to overcome mm, amen yeah, mm, to overcome tumeongelelea watu nataka tujiongelele reality zetu zikoaje sisi sisi si wale tunaongelelea siku yako inakaanga aje so let me ngumu mtu akiniuliza how does your day look like i'm like oh my god sasa huyu anataka ni mwana kichwa ama because sometimes always panga i don't panga aje mambo ya comment as in si wako na kaaje kama kiongozi kama activist kama feminist siku yako Nafe mtu ofisi anajuanga anaenda ku ofisi from 5 to 8. Yetu ni ambulance wi 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 inakaje. Like in one a second hata si siku yako inakaje a second and then changamoto gani wewe mwenyewe unapitia na nini umefanya uko na success ukasema kia Mungu nafanyanga hii kazi nimeridhika na maana matokeo ya ABC. Ndio umesema moja mashuko ya ile kazi ulifanya so ufai kurudia. But changamoto yenu ikoaje? Najua pia kuna experience ya leader tuta go through violence Tujo ni mbaya tunataka kuzungumza lakini society na tujaji. Tamwambia na mtu kuna swali mimi nichambia mtu tuseme ni kadhulumia na ongea sema nimedhulumia ndio tunaambia ndio na mdomo. Mhm. Adam nisha kwa ras nikajaribu kuongea na hivi tu sahihi kwa mtu mkubwa. Mtu anakuambia ai recho vyako na panganga uta ras. Je, like kwa ni harassment na choose mtu ina ras. So naanza na wasi naida. Siku yako iko aje? Changamoto ya siku yako na nini successful una feel despite hizi zote bado na survive na hii ndio kitu nilifanya in one minute each kila day nikiamka mimi jembe before nitoke kejani 
before ni nitafuta hadi aso uh na breathe in na breathe out manze naambia saja despite hizo tuzo na jiona naenda kupitia ni normal lakini nijipatie tu mo nita succeed na zitapita anata ato ato bongeaje au bongeaje hawezi ni change this is who i am na nisha kujikubali so na jambia anga tu so na relax you gonna be okay you go to thanks beta si easy nata mimi mwenye nasikia kwa pity emotional cuz in reality yetu hata mimi kuna time nafika niko we ni hard mpaka nalia Mm. Milka. Mimi huamka na hutangulia kwanza na kushukuru Mungu juu ya kunipatia nafasi ya kuona siku mpya. Uh, na mipangilio yangu most of the time naweza sema hali ndio huo inanipanga because huwa ninapanga na, labda nitaenda soko nitaenda kufanya shughuli fulani but unapata tu mimi ni mzee wa kijiji wa ile area kuna cases zinaweza pia tu ukiwa kwa hali ya kujitayarisha na unataka kuondoka unapata sasa siku tena venye uliko umeipangilia si venye imeenda challenges zenye mi face uh, kwa sababu mimi ni mwanamke nitaanziana kwa nyumba yangu kuwa mzee wa kijiji ni jina na ni jina kubwa na ninaishi na mwanaume ndani ya ile nyumba. So most, most of the time huwa ananisukuma sana akitaka kuona huyu mzee wa kijiji anaweza fanya nini akiwa ndani ya nyumba yake. Pia nikitoka huku nje kuna wale watu ambao wanajua either ni jirani alisikia kwangu kulikuwa na kelele na ata tap tu mwenzake na anamwambia manzi huyu mzee wa kijiji unajua hajalala. Hata kama huwa na solve kesi zenu lakini huwa lali kwa nini ha solve kutoka kwa nyumba yake. Zingine zinakufanya hata una kuwa chini sana ama human being wengi hawaja ni kama wanichukulii kama human being ama mother ama woman wengine hawanichukulii hivyo kama mwanamke and i remember there was a time you retro mwikali ulisimama na mimi sana kama nimepata ujauzito na nilikuwa na brandiwa vingine huyu e, mama mzee wa kijiji mzima utashikaje mimba not knowing ya kwamba ni kama watu sasa sijaielewa si ni watu wanioni kama mwanamke ama watu huona mzee wa kijiji kwa nini nani so, so, so sometimes inafika ngata mahali na feel ni buruke nifanye aje na mara mingi huwa siombi ni hame katika hiyo kijiji niache hivyo naombanga tu Mungu anisaidie niweze kupigana hii vita mpaka at least ni change our environment kutokuwa na vio kutokuwa na security watoto wetu kutokuwa na makazi kuona pia kuna wale ambao wanadhulumiwa na sauti zao hata tukijaribu kuzirace sometimes tunapigwa vichwa na niseme pia inakwanga sometimes na, 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 na face a lot challenges kwangu mimi ni mingi sana because i being ya kwamba ninasimamia ule mtaa ambaye nyinyi pusi power mko na ofisi zenu na nyinyi ndio wengi pale ati mko katika ile area ambayo mimi nina, nina lead inanipatianga sometimes kazi ngumu kuweza kujieleza who are these people hii kazi na kwanza hii mambo ya lgbtq mimi kuna wakati nilisimama hivi kwa platform niweze kueleza ni akina nani hawa na kwa nini na nikiwa mwanamke ni uchungu sana nikisema ya kwamba nilisimama na nililia kwanza na nikawauliza maswali hata kama mnaweza kwa mnanisonga sana pusi power hao ndio wana recruit niwaulize are they not human being like others wewe leo hii ukizaa mtoto anakaa hivyo utamtupa utamfanya nini kama venye si huwa tunapigania na tuna defend rights za wengine kusema tu kweli huyo mtoto hana right akiwa amezaliwa hivyo so tuwafanye nini tuwachome ama wale wazazi ambao walizaa watoto kama wao kwa sababu hawana mark wafungiwe wapi so sometimes inakuwa ngumu sana mara mingi ni ile unajipata hauna amani nje na huna amani ndani ya nyumba yako na unajiuliza maswali ni wapi kuzuri basi Mungu ni chukue na naangalia mimi ndo naambia watu wengi tusiluzu hope tusongeni mpaka tupigane hii vita so mara mingi na kwa ngumu and also nikiuliza pia sijui whether nitapata hiyo nafasi ya kuuliza naomba tu niulize sahi serikali ni wapi huwa imeweka viongozi hao wa local au wa chini sana ni wapi wamewekwa at least pia wanapata nafasi ya kuweza maha, kwenda mahali wana change environment waanze kujifikiria ni aje wanatakanga na maisha yao wapewe nafasi pia ya kupumua kwa sababu pia, pia pale mtaani unashindwa pa kupumulia 
Ukienda hivi unaulizwa posi pao ukienda hivi mwanamke amepigana ukienda hivi mwanaume amepigana mwanaume akirushwa ndani inakuwa ni makosa kwa nini mwanamke ndiye anasimamiwa sana ama ni venye ni mwanamke ndiye ana lead kwa hii kwa hii area so sometimes huwa anajiuliza maswali mengi sana mm. mashkana na, na kufeel mm. and especially and thank you kwa kusema na sisi kwa si rahisi unaimagine pia sisi tuna feel tuna serve the same community the same community na to fight na sisi tunapigwa tukiwatetea So pia iko na hiyo pain. Na ni muhimu hii conversation tunailata pia sisi wenye protectiana kama viongozi, kusupportiana pia your well-being ni muhimu. Kwa sababu za fans nyeo chizi. Can also add on this because it's very burning. Eh, the pussy power imetusaidia sana. Wale wanawake ambao hawaku hawaku hata labda na fedha ambazo wangeanzisha biashara tu kadogo juu mambo ya GBV most of the time huwa ina rise wakati tunaulizana chakula kwa nini haujaleta hii ni kidogo haitoshi pia nyinyi mmechangia pakubwa sana. Hizo fedha wengi walipata hata kama ilikuwa ni kidogo wameweza kujiendeleza na wanafanya biashara. As my area naona kila mwanamke kwa busy na pia vijana wamepata ile empowerment at least they are doing something and also vile kupigania haki ya wengine pia wengi wameweza kupigania pia haki zao pia vijana wetu hata kama wanatumia mihadarati wameanza at least kufanya something so hiyo information imeweza kuwafikia na imewafikia na uzito because we, we we used to receive i used to receive so many cases za gbv kule nyuma kulikuwa na hivyo uh, GBV ilikuwa at a high rate but at least now it's reduced kwa sababu kila mtu anafanya shughuli zake zake sisi sema kabisa kabisa imeisha still experiencing but haiko vile ilikuwepo so ni vizuri pia mjue mnafanya kazi mzuri at least muendelee hivyo hivyo pia kazi yetu ina kuwa rais sisi kama wazee wa vijiji and i personally Asante so thank you very much and i appreciate at least kazi tunafanya ina, ina support community kwa tuko hapa na community yetu sisi wote MJ ni lead reality na changamoto au ni lakasi tunajia kwa kioni siku yangu um no one knows me I'm a christian by the mimi ni mtu wa church so wa seven you ni jaja si venye mimi niko so mimi ni mtu wa church siezi kosa kwa mka kushukuru Mungu then I, i love bonding with my daughter shacheza cheza na yeye 1 2 3 ndio kama anatoka ni murushe daika ya minka nikatoke na hata kama nimepanga maybe na kuja town uh, day yangu sijawahi panga juu najua sasa mimi ni ule mtu utapigiwa uko tunataka kukujitusaidia hiyo ni msichana nataka amuonge na ye, umpe advice where necessary maybe she need to have a abortion so mimi sijawahi panga siku yangu siku yangu jimu ni pangia na chini kitakuja uh, we are facing challenges yes See we I. And I, am, I am facing challenges uh-huh. as Morina, as a young mother, as a safe abortion champion naambiwa mimi mwenyewe nimeza. <laughs> na na naambia but I don't, I don't tell them to to abort. I give you the information you have your own reason to 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 have that abortion. Mimi mimi niko na reason yangu mbona niko na mtoto mbona niliza. So they they uh, wana wana quote sasa vibaya huyu mwenye anaambia watu na yako na mtoto analea. Unajua ni challenge kubwa nikifika kwa nyumba naangalia mtoto na ile impact nimeweka kwa community na zile venye napigwa mawe mimi mwenye mwenyewe. Baadhi na inanirudisha ina, 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 nyuma. Sasa zingine wana switch off and thanks to you. Eh hey, huyu mwaka ulinipeleka nikajifikiria wiki mzima. But then nilishukuru pusi power uh, is the best thing that that has ever happened to me. One of the milestone mimi nitaka chini niandike before end of this year back two weeks. Uh, in back to one week it's you. Nita nitaandika mahali na niseme bila nyinyi maybe ningekuwa nimeruka kichwa because I'm doing what I love but zile zitu zinanipiga nyuma siezani si nazo bila nyinyi. So me as a person you've, you 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 been uh, someone that I've been leaning on menisaidia niza toka at least nisikie hewa mzuri unajua mimi niko hapa nimeondokea nime mingi so this is one of the wellness napata uh, kwa zile maybe achievement then achievement am a young mother i love young mothers ni tuko nao mkuru na i love linking young mothers with opportunity um, right now a number of young mothers who are now good i wako empowered about 50 wenye mimi nimepush paka hapo ni wengi 
na nasikia vizuri au wengine ni maarifa hapa courses yani mse amesoma mimi hizi nails natengenezwa anga na young mothers for free cause so i took her thing. aende asome nail technology na alipata na anajua anatengeneza vizuri kuna mwenye anasuka kuna mwenye anafanya nini so i referred them walisoma walimaliza sasa wanafanyanga kitu mzuri at least wako na kitu wanapata kwa nini so nikiona hiyo inaniambia ngamka asubuhi impact wengine kumi. yeah mimi na celebrate I just wish to go na my do. My first let me be honest. Na kuna um, a process I was going through this year. Na one of the thing niliambi one of the funder if they were my dreams 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 ni kuwa na funder ama na pesa ya kusupport movement leaders ama viongozi. Because most of the time tunapeana movement tunajengea kwa manyumba zetu. Una sometimes tuko na madeni. Madeni zinatufara lakini ndio wanaona smile. Yeah. Una move from one point to another lakini unajui bado unabeba. So if me 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 mgane za wish yangu if i had a fund ninge support movement leaders alisa na mtu wako na health insurance atunanga health insurance huko mm-hmm. na pesa zako kama ni mwenye ninge kwa biashara ninge kwa biashara ku build wealth naweza ku support movement ama uko na budget yako yako ya kuweza hata ku move kitu mkutano mahali unaweza ku move kama ni hata hizi tunakaa leo tumepapapa kwa na, na mundia huko <laughs> tumenaranga <laughs> at least something for you and that's something that i really dream and i hope maybe in those 30 years if you can just have we have started with a few but kama tuna inaweza grow tuzopatia movement leaders na leaders ya mtu anakuwa tuna plan yake asema mimi plan yangu nataka hii ama plan yangu tu mimi nataka najua tunapendanga pia kwa members wetu but since kama leaders who gives us the money so today i want to ask you the final question as we close leo unge kwa huko na mado unge support nini Nung priority yako ingekuwa nini ya ku support? Nunge support aje. Tusema leo naambia advice huyu. Leo leo advice funder ama philanthropy ama president. Ungemwambia yake pesa yake wapi na yeye vipi? Mimi. Mm. Ningekuwa na do. Mm. Man ningekuwa na funder nataka kupea na do na kweli nataka kupea na do. Mm. First of all ningemwambia hey, MC. Jamani support sisi leaders kwanza. Mm. To support then number two, i champion for safe abortion na hii kitu happen sana sana kwa slums na kuna abortion fund imagine sasa hakuna ati leo tuseme mama shiku and that's the thing also pay mwambia mtu and i'm grateful to some of our partners uh, when nda mwambia clearly and I'm, i thank them like i'm in need of resources kesi umeletewa hakuna mtu amepatia budget at new pesa msana mm. kitaka abortion ndio mfanyie mm. Jo reality tuna jesi kesi ziko. 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 ziko mtani tunaishi nazo. Wengine tu tumezipitia, wengine wengine tu wanazipitia. Hakuna mtu ameka pesa na simaini fund ya kupatia wanawake kutaka kufanya abortion. Mimi ni advocacy, si fund ya. Ya hapo leo mje nimekata. <laughs> ni wanasema walai sisi tu unajua mimi ni, ni feminist, nimepewa fund. Mimi niko na ile target watu watakuwa na knowledge kuhusu safe abortion kwa slums zote sasa fanda men pay zo pesa nita focus pesa zote na ungepatia na aje kwa sababu wanakuambia anga watataki risk ati mtakula pesa mtafanya nini as in wewe ungekuwa ni mj mm. si maybe sasa nikwambia nataka na mkuru tuniambie shika fair mm. au nipatie conditions ndio yeah. wewe ungekuwa wewe ni fanda ungepatia na jezo pesa uh, mtu hazi richo mtu hazi amka asubuhi hana mimi balafu anasema nataka kutoa mimba kwa nenda kutoa matumbo ndani ya tumbo Sini ngumu this is kitu kama abortion hiyo mtu akuna venye tamka asubuhi ni jekele hiyo ni kitu iko hiyo atapeana ate utapeana tu hivyo siezi peana hivyo cuz she need wacha tuko na specific hospital yenye takubali yenye yenye sasa ina ina, ina support safe abortion juziko but sasa moja moja pesa akimaliza aku referred there we pay the bill everything na peo pesa yake na peo pesa yake. lazima ukuwe na pesa ndio exactly. upate nguvu ndio mm-hmm. Thank you. Aha uh-huh, Milka, ungekuwa wewe ni mwenye pesa ama una advice wenye pesa, ungeambia wake yapi pesa yao? Unajua kwa very passionate about GBV na GBV prevention. Lakini priority yako ungekuwa wapi? Mimi kwanza ningeanza na mimi mwenyewe. Ah, uh, hizo fedha zikiwa mahali na kweli zimetengwa kwa sababu ya shughuli fulani ningesema kwanza mimi as a leader niangaziwe sana niangaliwe sana ndio nikieza hata kusaidia wengine nisikue na ile tamaa do you know 
kwa nini fedha zingine huwa zifiki wengine kuna umepatia mtu kama mimi milka sijai rushwa mafutani nimepewa one m ile kitu mimi naoneanga tu kwa gazeti alafu nimeambiwa afanya shughuli fulani so itakuwa ngumu sana kuweza kufikia wengine so lazima E, na na ikiwa ni wale wanazipeana mimi kwanza ningesema ni lazima kuwe na mipangilio ya kila kitu wezi sema tu sasa fedha ndo hizi endeni mkafanye hivi na ujuu unaongea na nani lazima tu wakuwe at least wa wameelimishwa kidogo ama mimi nimeelimishwa kidogo hizi fedha za zifanye hivi lakini kwanza niliangaliwa kwanza ndio niweze kupokelea zile fedha ama watu fulani ambao wametengwa wapokelee zile fedha tukua na mipangilio lazima kuwe na mikakati ya kufanyilia kila ya kufanya kila jambo lakini uwezi sema tu leo e, milka kulingana na ile kazi ambayo tunafanya unafanya ya ngumu na ya kujitolea tumeamua kupatia 500000 enda kaangalie wazee wenzako mkae chini mu, lazima tunikalishwe chini kuwe na ile mikakati na mipangilio mizuri ya kwamba hizi ni fedha zifanye hivi lakini at least kwanza nikiwa nimeangaliwa na ndio niweze kukaa katika kile kikao ambaye kuta tutaweza kuweka ile mikakati Sante sana Milka Snaida Mimi nasema naweza sema tu kama naweza pata kama tunaweza pata sisi the rainbow family unajua tunakuanga the vulnerable sana sana tunakaribia the disability because hatuna sauti we don't have that voice na was umekuwa 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 abused umegongwa na mse juu umependa juu nimegongwa na mse mimi nimegongwa na mse juu nilikuwa na kati ya dem fulani ama nilikuwa nataka hiyo dem hakuna vile ndenda stage kuripot kwa 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 masanse ati mimi nimepigwa nitaulizwa nimepigwa nini una get so ni ile tu tukio tu hiyo funding tuna create space safe space yetu na organization tu yenye sisi wenyewe tuna feel kama tunaweza tunaweza meet tunaweza communicate tunaweza vibe una get na tunajiendeleza sisi wenyewe kimaisha pia na vitu zinaweza tusaidia na pia unajua kuna job opportunities hapa nje saa hii vile economy pia iko wera ziko chini so sisi tena ipo ndio tena tunaumia because wewe mwenyewe vile tu utaji express tu utaji tu wewe ni rainbow so tunakosa kazi juu tu ya sexuality yetu na hiyo ifa hivyo so mimi ningependa tu kama wanaweza tu fan Watufana tuna kitu organization yetu na tuna tukue tu safe. Bora tu safe. Yaani hiyo security na kuanga muhimu sana sana. Mm. So tukimalizia, what's your dream in one word? Ndoto yako ni <laughs> Nikiwa mtoto ndio nataka kuwa soja. Unajua unajua hii height yangu na get. Ndio nataka kuwa soja. Lakini na vile nime grow nimeona kila kitu vile zinaenda. Sijui kama ninataka kuwa human rights defender ama mimi ni human rights defender lakini eh <laughs> lakini <laughs> lakini <laughs> mimi bado place nataka tu nielekea manzi nizidi tu kutetea wanyonge na nisaidie wase kama mimi ku come out wa feel, wa feel free na wa kuwa safe hiyo tu Sante Milka what's your dream yeah ndoto yangu ni ningependa kubadilisha mtu wa kwangu Mahali pazuri ambako nitakuwa nikiita nyumbani, mahali pazuri ambako kuna mijengo mizuri, kuna vio, kuna kaka kama zile estates zingine za kibombe. Hiyo ndo dream yangu. MJ. Dream yangu ni amke asubuhi nipate serikali yetu ya Kenya. Kuna venye ime allow abortion but restricted. At least it wachilie tu tufanye. Hiyo ndo ndoto yangu. Asante ni nimeenjoy conversation Asante Snaida Asante Milka Asante MJ tumeongea ni valid na tumetry kuanza na intersection around LGBTQ rights GBV leaders also care na sexual productive health and rights and access to abortion safe abortion so asante ni kazi nafanya ni ya muhimu na ni ya maana na tutashikana mkono thank you pamoja tuwezi peke yetu lazima tushikane si ndio na na celebrate Mimi kumbusha mbali. Asanteni. We really appreciate. Ningewa niwapatia hug. Juu nimekuwa pia emotional kwa hapa. Na intense.